back, everybody. Had a beautiful day for the most part here today, but as we cautioned, the sunshine that we had early on in the day went to work on the atmosphere, which eventually set the stage for showers and thunderstorms to develop here in the late afternoon and early evening hours. Nonetheless, high temperatures today reaching the middle and even upper 80s got all the way up to 88 in Janesville, 86 officially the high at RFT. Here's where we stand right now, upper 60s to lower 70s. Always talk about when the temperature and dew point, though, are close to one another or identical, fog always enters the conversation. Now, that's one part of the equation. The other part, though, the wind. The wind causes the atmosphere to be stirred up, and that reduces the po potential for widespread dense fog. So thankfully, so far, so good. We've got enough wind to stir things up. However, my expectation is that we are going to see a gradual diminishing trend in those winds, which could support more fog development, especially once we pass well after the midnight hour. Thankfully, by that point in time, very few, if any, folks will be on the roads. Max Storm Tracker presented by Rock River Kia is quiet. Uh, skies are actually in the process of rapidly clearing. So not only have we lost the showers and storms, We've lost the clouds almost as quickly, and so the remainder of the overnight hours should be relatively tranquil. Again, aside from a few passing clouds and then fog, which looks to develop here once we pass the 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning hour. The clouds and uh, low clouds and fog stick around here for at least the, the first half of the morning. Expectation, though, moving forward is that we should see more in the way of sunshine as we progress uh, through the morning and into the afternoon. Can't shut the door completely on a couple isolated sprinkles, showers, and maybe even a thunderstorm in the afternoon. Not going to say that these are high chances, and I will tell you, not all of us will see uh, this activity. I'd say maybe 40% of the viewing area would get in on these very brief showers. Then skies clear again tomorrow night. We'll watch out again for a little bit of fog that may develop through early Sunday morning. All things considered, though, the, the, the weekend generally benign. We can't completely rule out a sprinkle on Sunday. I'll put those chances only about 10%. We expect a mostly sunny sky to largely prevail. Clear skies on Sunday night will continue a very tranquil pattern into Monday. Wall to wall sunshine, just a few fair weather clouds passing in harmlessly in the skies from time to time. And that is that, my friends. The severe weather threat is now a thing of the past as the thunderstorms have cleared the region. Tomorrow, temperatures will be on the cooler side, at least by comparison to where we were here today. Look for a high temperature in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. In fact, I think we'll top out around 81 degrees. There will be far more rain-free hours than there will be wet hours. 82 then for our Sunday. Couple upper 70s, delightful looking conditions for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, no problems either. There will be a warming trend though that gets underway here Thursday. And we're back into the upper 80s on Friday. Thur next Thursday, a whole another batch of school districts head back to school. I know several districts started here this week, Hananiga, mm -hmm. Harlem among them. Uh, several more districts will start next week, right around Thursday. And just fitting. Once yeah. they go back to school, <laughs> heat goes up once again. Of course. Again. Hopefully they take advantage of this weekend. I hope so as well. All right. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up next in sports, the Freeport football program believes they have had their most consistent offseason and they hope to be a Nick 10 threat this season. And Guilford is putting the pads aside and strapping up their flags as their girls flag football team is preparing for their first ever IHSA game in the coming weeks. Eric Graver will have it all next.